Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Thursday, the 5th of November. These are the charts of the day. Well, it wasn't a great day on Wall Street, but a lot of stocks we followed did well. And uh, let's take a look at some old ones, some new ones. Emetesis uh, is, is somewhat of a new one, although I've been following it for a long time. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave moved down. was completed with this um, reversal day here and then a little flag. Today it broke out of that flag with a thrust of 339 or almost 8.4%. And almost a million shares. That's the biggest volume on an update since way back, at least six months, so five months, something like that. When you look back at the overall chart, it's a beautiful rising channel, and it goes through periodic consolidations of several months. This one may have broken out and triggered a new uptrend. It closed right near resistance, but the next target would be a, a, a test of the 46 and a half, and then potentially 48 and a quarter range. So 46 and a half to 48 and a quarter, my next target. Now, on an intermediate secondary basis, we could see um, low 50s to mid 50s and maybe even as high as 60 down the road. This is an interesting long-term chart. 4.5 days to cover, we could get some squeeze on it too. And the OBV is making new highs for the year. That's a good sign, way ahead of price. Positive divergence. <clears throat> BCEI, well, put out a swing on it today. I just like the structure, the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. Inverse head and shoulder is always interesting. With heavy volume in the head and solid volume in the right shoulder, <clears throat> All I'm looking for now is a breakout above 8, 805 to take us to 10, and then as high as 13, 14, but I do have a $12 secondary swing target. Almost four days to cover short as well. Broadsoft had a big explosive move yesterday. Today was a nice follow through day. We went up another $1.12 or about 3%. It's right at resistance, <clears throat> and if you can see here, any move through here could get this to run. With 10.6 days to cover, this could be 45 to 46 short term. Keep an eye on it. BSX. Well, I'm still pining about not giving you a swing trade when it broke out because it looked that good. It's gotten above, and I, this is the area I wanted to see if it did, would take out. Not only did it take it out, but it consolidated. It moved up another uh, small percentage today, but it's making new multi-year highs. I'm looking at 21 and a half, followed by 25 and 27 and a half as targets. <clears throat> um, CLLS Collectus, with some outstanding news today, about a cancer drug that cured a little baby. This was um, why the stock has exploded from 24 to 42 just in a week. Now, there is resistance up here, but wouldn't shock me if 45, 48, and even 50 was tested short term, even though the stock has gone up substantially. I would look to see if it does back off, whether it's going to hold the 37, 38 zone. But for now, very strong momentum. And with 6.26 days to cover, I don't think those shorts have much of a chance. We'll see. Constellium, an aluminum producer, which has had a really nasty drop from the 21 range all the way down to under 3.5. has had some reversal this week. I'm not sure why, but the move from 340 to nearly 7 um, has gotten up to, through the this resistance level and three moving averages. It closed above the 50 today, although not above the declining top line. So I'm going to be watching this to see if momentum carries it forward. The target would be near 9, substantially higher than where it is now. But we may get a little pullback consolidation. This is going to be interesting to watch. <clears throat> EGHT, our swing trade, continues to do well, having surged from about 8.35 up to over 11. 11.15 is the close today. And that's the highest close we've seen. I believe well, that would be close here at 11.18. So if we get any forward motion... 11.55, 12 and a half, and then maybe as high as 14. 7.7 days to cover on that one. Earthlink, well, I know Slider's going to be happy with this one. You can see how it broke out. Pulled back to test the moving area. It moved up for four days in a row. Today it moved up to the 9.5 range, close 9.38, up about almost 4%. It looks to me like it wants to go higher, and my target zone has to be 12. Now, EYEG had a big day today. And some positive news, the stock popped from 263 to 5, nearly doubling before backing off to 411, still up $1.51 or 58%. 2.8 million is the biggest volume it's ever traded. It's a thinly traded stock. There's resistance up around that 519 level. So today's high of 5. Could be a little double top. If it gets to 520, I'm looking at nearly 8. Omega Protein, it's been up all year, and after a 1, 2, 3, 4 wave, moved to 5th wave. Well underway, could take us to 22, 2.5, my short-term target, especially after today's breakout day, 
but short jumped 201 or 11.3% on uh, 1.2 million, which is the heaviest fine in a long time. S uh, SCSS, that's Select Comfort, the um, for mattress stores. This stock has come down from 35 to 20 and stalled, but the reversal day today with a breakaway gap above the moving average, I think, is key. This is a price volume thrust with 4.2 million shares up 19% that may have reversed this entire trend. There's some resistance near 26 and three quarters. Today's high was 26.20. So we may have some resistance in this zone right here. If it stalls, consolidates, it could be a setup. If it runs through, the next target is 28, eight and a half, and eventually maybe 31. SEDG with a spectacular pop today, this solar energy stock exploded for 483 or 28%, three and three quarter million shares. Took out the short term declining top line and two moving averages, but didn't take out the 50 or the declining top line. That comes in at about 23 and three quarters. Watch this one tomorrow and going forward to see if it will break out and reach up towards 25 and then 29. And Solar 3D, believe it or not, is now up 11 days in a row and had a spectacular report today, which blew it up to pre-market as high as 424. Uh, and then it backed off and um, closed all the way down at 355. So disappointing close, but there was a million one. And after 11 days, I'm not surprised it pulled back on the news. Key, key support now between 3 and 3 to 320. I would prefer it did not get below the three and a quarter range, so any pullback near there, I think, is a buying opportunity. My next target is four and a half, three quarters. Weight Watchers um, had a really good earnings report after the close. It's jumped as high as almost 20. Uh, so it's up about two, two and a quarter points after hours. And with the re recent high up at 1994, almost duplicated last night, that would be a resistance to watch. And he moved through 20, and I think this could be a 25 and a third dollar stock eventually. And last is XPO, which <clears throat> um, had a nice report as well, and it popped today. And today's pop took out the this declining top line, the 50-day moving average, and even lateral resistance. So I'm looking for more upside of this one to get it to 33 and then 36. Those are my targets. And that's it for tonight, everyone. Have a good evening.